Hey everyone, how are you doing? Good to see you today. Uh, we're gonna be doing a quick video today, should be 10 minutes maximum, talking about mummy kill camps. How to kill them, how to destroy them, how to get rid of them from Mordor and Gondor. Um, we had to come down here, we had to kill them and remove them from Mordor in our, in our server. And I've got to say, they were destroying a lot of my allies. Um, a lot of, when well, the first time I tried was to completely wipe me out. The advantage of taking camps though is you sort of know what's going to be there. Especially with Mumma Kills. Mumma Kills have one commander there and it's always just one unit of Mumma Kills. So we can sort of strategize around it and try and beat it. First of all, we'll go through good commanders and then I've asked one of my friends from Evil Factions, a really, really good player and saying about his advice and how he takes them on camps. So I'll be sharing that after. But let's kick off with good commanders. The best one in my eyes, the one I'm going to be showing in this video is Gandalf. Now Gandalf specializes in single unit fights. He has single unit stuns. It is blind side. He stuns at the start with wizard. Um, so remove several turns of mummy kill trying to hit you. Big fat damage reduction straight away in the fight. I'll run through some of the uh, sort of battle reports in a second. Uh, I'll sort of like show them. Um, one thing I have noticed when I was trying this is I did test the fleeting movement skill for avoidance. But because of the speed of mummy kills versus the commander, you'll find that their commander is usually the thing that sort of damages you and takes the avoidance, uh, which is a much lower damaging skill than mummy kills. So I find that putting seven points into this isn't useful. Um, I've actually I thought it was going to be really good, but found that commanders take over that avoidance, so therefore isn't much use. Pretty standard Gandalf build, healing the grey maxed out, Mythandria um, and white cancel maxed. Um, and then the convener is really good to get that damage up front, kick him down, and it reduces the, uh, the damage they do for the rest of the fight because there's less of the mummer kills to fight against. So convener is a really, really good skill. Another thing to point out is the high alert is really good. The commander damage is loads and loads of burn attacks. So I found that high alert reduces the commander damage by a good 15, 20k when doing this, and it's really, really good. What does all this mean then? It means that if you compare, if you use Gandalf with bow knights or axe throwers, it means you can kill the whole thing with 20 stamina. So one march, one attack, it takes about 30 minutes, but you will wipe out that whole camp. It takes four attacks on each stack. So that means in total it'll be seven turns. So it's around about 35 minutes it takes, or 30 minutes worth of um, cooldowns. You can see my Gandalf is a max, max, max on the sort of skills and sort of gear. Um, it is decent gear, it's good gear, but it isn't crazy. Um, and you'll see here, I show in this Bonite one, this works them down all the way through. I do not change, I do not reinforce, I do not recall anything. Charging ones takes them all the way down. You just need a siege unit at the end to knock it down and do the finishing job of taking the camp. And you can see one of the sort of ending ones after the second fight. I've still got 3,200 bow knights. We did the first one with 3,750. So we lost 500 between the first army of Mummer Kills and starting off of the second army. I do the same thing with axe throwers. You can see here starting with 7.5. 7,500. Started the second one though with 4.8. The axe throwers definitely isn't quite as comfortable as the bow knights. Um, I prefer the bow knights one, but both of them do work. If you want to use 40 stamina and probably use less resources, the axe throwers are probably going to do a better job. Um, I think that's everything of what, um, I wanted to say. The key thing is remember, mummers hit all units at the same, so make sure you're only taking one unit type with you. If you don't want to use Actros or Bow Knights and you want to use someone like Legolas to just smash the person instead, then again, just use that one unit type. Just take some Guardians, nice cheap unit, keep coming in, out, in, out, with full command and you'll do a great job as well. But Gandalf is the best one for me for the good, good side factions or if you're on a mixed server, then using Gandalf there. Uh, is great for doing that single target stun and keeping the sort of churn, keeping the healing, and he's, uh, he's great. Uh, I think that's everything on the Gandalf side. So the second bit is for um, evil. Now, evil, I'm sorry, 
feedback is that you, unless you're a big spender, you ain't going to be going in there and hitting them one time and you're good to go. You're going to have to be going um, and using someone like Lurtz. Now, apparently Lurtz is probably the best person to do this with. And you can take him around like level 42, 43. Um, as long as you've got decent gear, um, you're using your standard Lurtz build. Um, you go 15 points into Urukai uh, Firstborn, 15 into Pursuer, um, and then you'd be wanting match, maxing out the skills inside each of those. Uh, pretty standard Lurch build. Big thing you want to do with him, again, taking one unit type. You want to probably take something like Trolls, high defense, high HP, big fat tanky unit, just so your Lurch can do all the damage. In the evil side of things, you do want to attack, recall, reinforce, attack recall reinforce trying to like obviously we know that commander damage is linked to some kind of hp or number of command so you want to make sure you're at least attacking from a full army or one off full if you want to save some stamina but to be honest attack recall reinforce attack recall reinforce and you'll get that job done that's everything nice quick video just wanted some quick advice on mummy kills i've seen it kick out load people's asses really difficult and hopefully this will make it a little bit easier for you if you liked it do they hit the like and subscribe button and hope you enjoy the content and i shall catch you again soon goodbye